Greetings guys, Cy si here and welcome back to The Preview Show, your weekly roundup of everything in the golf tournament world. What happened last week? What's going to happen this week? How did you get on in the fantasy points? Let's go. So as always, we start off with the roundup from last week and we had the Olympic women's golf event culminating our two-week Olympic golf swing. How did you get on? Did you improve your places from last week? Let's head over to Ryan to find out. Right, I've made it back in time just to do this for you guys. So... Uh, will be really, really quick. And last week, obviously, we were focusing on the second part of the Olympics. And our winner this week, uh, quite a lot of you picked her, Nelly Corder. Now, I'm hoping you all picked Nelly Corder, because I, as I was doing the points, I realised there was two quarters in the field. So if you didn't pick Nelly Corder, you better tell me and I'll change your points. Uh, but this is how the points look if you did all pick Nelly. Uh, so obviously two Americans win in both goals as well. So America looking really, really strong. Doesn't bode well for us in the Ryder Cup. But here we go, uh, bottom half as always, and we'll skip past the fact that I am bottom. Um, and the fact that Ben only played one of the two weeks and beat me, so that was upsetting. Um, Marcus Lee, another roughish week for him. Um, Marcus and I don't do anything with PGA Tour. We're good on the PGA Tour. Anyway, top half, uh, Dominic Rowe finishing out top with a massive, massive score. And Kieran as well. Um, Kieran's just been killing it. Absolutely killing it. Uh, father and son, third and fourth, separated only by 70 points, which is always nice to see. And, uh, and, the, and the also rans in there, everyone else getting some <laughs> certain number of points. Uh, okay, let's look at our quickly look at our table and uh, so after last week with Simon and Adam being level on points now they're slightly split by 100 and something nothing nothing in it and me just 5,000 out in front so I need a PGA you Tour do. which isn't coming do you um, um, I've got a question for you yes Adam scored more points than me last week uh, he did and we were joined on points. Uh, now I looked into this okay. because uh, I could give you, I could break <laughs> it down for you. But because it was a half and half week, if you actually add them all up to whatever you had two weeks ago, that's how it works out. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Because it was a half and half week. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, one of you had a really, really bad week on the men's. Yeah. But you made up loads on the women's. Oh, I and see. Therefore, it leveled, it leveled up. up. Right. I see. Okay. I see. So that's how that's it out. was. Yeah. I knew there would be a reason. I knew you wouldn't have messed it yeah, up. Well, I did have to check. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's have a look at your overall scores, and we have a new leader. Kieran, 15 weeks. Late. I didn't think that was going to be possible. I thought no one would no, ever catch Marcus. Marcus. He's had some. He's had some really poor hmm? weeks. If, if we're on it, uh, but Kieran's only played 15 weeks. He averages over four and a half thousand points a week, and he's just shy of 70,000 points. Uh, Marcus is 5,000 points back. So I know it's a huge drop, isn't it? Him, he's gone he's flying. Way past him. Uh, Adzi, the All In Club Adzi, it's all or nothing for him, and he's sitting there in third, which is fairly tidy. Uh, Daddy Trett doing nicely as well. So, uh, and there you are. There is everyone on the board. Uh, so, thanks very much for playing. Um, I haven't done my picks for the European Tour because I've been busy all day at work. So, um, you know, I'll the picks will be to follow. I'll pick something. Picks will some be point. picks yeah. will be to follow. Cool. There we go. I reckon we'll cut to Adam, who has actually recorded a piece. So thanks, Si. Yes, the Kazoo Classic at the London Club. So a really, really iconic venue on the European Tour in years gone past. So its first event there in 2008. So there is a rich history at this golf club. Moved away in previous years, but now coming back, there is some seniors events and some LET events at the golf course. So 36 holes on the property. You've also got a small um, hotel on property. There was there was talk at one point about making the hotel a little bigger, but definitely the London Club has that feel. You in through the gates, you drive through the golf courses um, between the two. Um, so you've got the Heritage and the International, um, and then roll up to the clubhouse underneath the archway and a really sort of grand entrance to the golf clubhouse. So a fantastic venue for this week's Kazoo Classic. Okay, so another nice thing that the European Tour have done throughout this Kazoo series is run the EDGA series alongside every event. So the disabled golfers are playing alongside the able body athletes as well. So that's great in terms of the summer that we've had with the Olympics and now the Paralympic Games going forward. So superb to see the European Tour running this all the way through these um, Kazoo um, series of, of events and it's been great they get to play the same golf course same conditions 
and we've had some great winners. So another good week for the disabled golfers here on the European Tour. So the golf course itself is superb. So long, wispy, high, rough, those really defined fairways. Some good elevation considering it's just outside the M25, it's right next to Brands Hatch, the race course. So you might hear some of those race cars and motorbikes during the week. So the best feature I would say, having played the golf courses, is the par three. Some really, really strong par threes, some great elevation drops and raises, but over water carries, nice brickwork on the front of all of the carries there so the par threes really could be a feature this week they could make or break rounds so getting on to my team my picks for this week so i've gone with david law he's played well for the last few weeks at 45 to 1 it's got to be worth 25 points i've got chase hannah again as off of the challenge tour played well last few weeks and a name that not many people are going to recognize but at 45 to 1 the sort of the odds are speaking for themselves. He's playing really, really nicely, so hopefully he can have another solid week. Okay, so a household name, Lucas Beauregard at 100 to 1. This guy has played at a very, very good level, has been previous top 50 in the world. So 100 to 1, let's hope that Lucas can have a really good week this week. And again with the cheeky chappy, Andy Sullivan at 22 to 1 is one of the tournament favourites. And he's one of the favourites with many of the fans. A super guy, great attitude to the game of golf. So hopefully he can bring the fun this week and pick up the trophy. That's all for me, guys. Um, I'll say thanks for, for everybody for watching. Get those picks in. Back to you, Si. Right, there we go. Thank you, Adam. We are just finished editing. Edit Apologies that hasn't been the greatest edited preview show in the history of the world. But we will be back next week. We shall all return with... Adam on his own, because you're working and I'm, I'm on holiday. Him. But <laughs> the golf season continues. Good luck with all your picks, and we'll see you down here on a preview show next time. Bye. Bye. Picks in the comments. Yes, picks in the get comments. Get them in.